learning how to buy cryptocurrency can be a really challenging task. However, in reality, this does not have to be the case. Assume you've decided to invest in cryptocurrencies. However, you're confused and unsure where to begin. You're wondering, how can you buy crypto? Don't worry, Upstep Financial is here to help. And we have sound advice you can rely on. Please subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to be notified of every upload. Let's get started with our video now. Cryptocurrencies have emerged as an asset class that allows you to invest and earn significant returns. Despite a lack of government support, this asset class has grown in popularity in recent years. The prospect of large returns in a short period has enticed investors to jump on the crypto bandwagon. If you're new to the crypto world, determining how to buy cryptocurrencies can be difficult at first. Fortunately, it's fairly simple to learn the ropes. You can begin investing in cryptocurrency by taking five simple steps outlined here, so please make sure to stick around. The first step is to select a crypto broker or cryptocurrency exchange. While both allow you to buy crypto as brokers and crypto exchanges are basically interchangeable, there are a few key differences to be aware of. Remember that cryptocurrency exchange is a platform where buyers and sellers come together to trade cryptocurrencies. Exchanges frequently have low fees, but they also have more complex interfaces with multiple trade types and advanced performance charts, which can be intimidating for new crypto investors. Coinbase, Gemini, and Binance.us are three of the most well-known cryptocurrency exchanges. While the standard trading interfaces of these companies may feel overwhelming for beginners, particularly for those with no previous experience trading stocks, they also provide user-friendly easy purchase options. Cryptocurrency brokers, on the other hand, simplify the process of purchasing cryptocurrency by providing simple interfaces that interact with exchanges on your behalf. Some charge more than exchanges. Others claim to be free while making money by selling information about what you and other traders are buying and selling to large brokerages or funds, or by failing to execute your trade at the best possible market price. Two of the most well-known cryptocurrency brokers are Robinhood and SoFi. While brokers are undeniably convenient, you should exercise caution when using them because you may face restrictions when moving your cryptocurrency holdings off the platform. For example, you can't transfer your crypto holdings out of your account at Robinhood or SoFi. Although this may not appear to be a big deal, advanced crypto investors prefer to keep their coins in crypto wallets for added security. Some people even opt for hardware crypto wallets that are not connected to the internet at all for the most advanced security. In short, Crypto Exchange is a platform where sellers and buyers meet while crypto brokers are individuals who provide simple interfaces that interact with exchanges on your behalf. Now that we've covered the differences between crypto brokers and exchanges, let's move on to the second step. The next step is to create and verify your account. After you've decided on a cryptocurrency broker or exchange, you can sign up for an account. Depending on the platform and the amount you intend to purchase, you may be required to verify your identity. This is a necessary step in preventing fraud and complying with federal regulatory requirements. You may be unable to buy or sell cryptocurrency until the verification process is complete. The platform may request a copy of your driver's license or passport, as well as a selfie to prove your appearance matches the documents you submit. Ensure that everything is correct and up to date for a smooth process. Isn't this discussion getting interesting? Keep watching, you can count on us. If you have any clarifications or video suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below and hit that thumbs up button. Let's move forward with our discussion. After you have verified your account, you can now deposit funds to invest. To purchase cryptocurrency, you must first ensure that you have funds in your account. You can fund your crypto account by linking your bank account, authorizing a wire transfer, or even paying with a debit or credit card. You may have to wait a few days before you can use the money you deposit to buy cryptocurrency, depending on the exchange or broker and your funding method. Here's something to be wary of as a buyer. While some exchanges or brokers accept credit card deposits, doing so is extremely risky and costly. Credit card companies treat cryptocurrency purchases as cash advances when made with credit cards. This means that they will have higher interest rates than regular purchases, as well as additional cash advance fees. When you make a cash advance, for example, you may be required to pay 5% of the transaction amount. 
This is in addition to any fees charged by your cryptocurrency exchange or brokerage, which can range from 5% to 10%, meaning that you may lose 10% of your cryptocurrency purchase in fees alone. Keep in mind that buying and investing in cryptocurrency is risky, so only invest what you are prepared to lose. At this point, you should now be able to place your first cryptocurrency order. You're ready to place your first cryptocurrency order once your deposited funds are available in your account. There are hundreds of cryptocurrencies to choose from, including well-known names like Bitcoin and Ethereum, as well as more obscure coins like Theta Fuel and Holo. When you've decided which cryptocurrency to buy, enter its ticker symbol. Bitcoin, for example, is BTC, and the number of coins you wish to buy. Most exchanges and brokers allow you to buy fractional shares of cryptocurrency, allowing you to own a sliver of high-priced tokens like Bitcoin or Ethereum that would otherwise cost thousands of dollars. Next, you must choose a storage method. Cryptocurrency exchanges are not protected by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation (FDIC) and they are vulnerable to theft or hacking. You could even lose your investment if you forget or lose the codes to your account, as has happened to millions of dollars in Bitcoin. That is why it is critical to have a secure location for your cryptocurrencies. As previously stated, if you purchase cryptocurrency through a broker, you may have little to no control over how your cryptocurrency is stored. You do have more options if you buy cryptocurrency through an exchange. The first option is to keep the cryptocurrency on the exchange. When you purchase cryptocurrency, it is typically stored in a crypto wallet linked to the exchange. If you don't like the provider with whom your exchange partners, or if you want to move it to a more secure location, you can remove it from the exchange and into a separate hot or cold wallet. You may have to pay a small fee to do this, depending on the exchange and the size of your transfer. Hot wallets are an excellent option. These are cryptocurrency wallets that are stored online and run on internet-connected devices like tablets, computers, or phones. Hot wallets are convenient, but they are more vulnerable to theft because they are still connected to the internet. If you don't trust the internet, cold wallets might be a great option for you. Because cold crypto wallets are not connected to the internet, they are the most secure way to store cryptocurrency. They are external devices such as a USB drive or hard drive. Cold wallets must also be handled with care. If you lose the key code associated with them, or if the device breaks or fails, you may never be able to recover your cryptocurrency. While this could happen with certain hot wallets, some are run by custodians who can assist you in regaining access to your account if you are locked out. Overall, as with any investment, it's critical to do your homework and understand what you're getting yourself into. Make sure that any cryptocurrency investments you make do not interfere with other goals such as funding your retirement accounts and paying off high-interest debt. Cryptocurrency investments should not exceed 5% of your portfolio, according to experts. Bitcoin is a good place to start for new crypto investors. Bitcoin, as the first cryptocurrency, has the longest track record for investors to consider. Bitcoin's value has risen exponentially over the last decade since its inception in 2009. As a long-term store of value, many experts compare it to digital gold. While Bitcoin's recent massive price swings highlight its volatility, many experts believe that holding a small amount of cryptocurrency, such as Bitcoin, can be a healthy diversifier in your overall investment strategy. Cryptocurrency can be extremely volatile. A single tweet can cause the price to plummet, and it remains a highly speculative investment. This means that you should invest with caution and care. How much can you risk? That's all we've got for today. If you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, subscribe and turn on the notifications so that you will not miss any uploads. Thank you for watching this video. This is Upstep Financial, and we hope to see you again soon.